As the number of children diagnosed with autism rises, so do questions. If we had a better idea of what causes it, would we be able to curtail it? Jamie Hallman is an autism screener at the Golisano Children's Hospital of Southwest Florida. I think there's a lot of factors that have played into it and we're really not sure if there's some environmental factor or something that has made us actually have more autism or if we're just more aware of it. Now a Danish study presented in the Journal of Pediatrics found a tentative link between autism and the flu. Women who had the flu during pregnancy were twice as likely to have a child with autism. If they had a fever lasting more than a week, they were three times as likely to have an autistic child. The research reinforces recommendations to get the flu shot. Current CDC recommendations are that everybody receive a flu shot. There's certainly some people who are at higher risk of having problems from the flu, especially our geriatric and older patients, the very young patients and pregnant patients. The flu vaccine is proven safe for expectant moms who should take the shot and not the nasal spray. It does have some live virus in the vaccine, but it's been inactivated, so it cannot cause the flu. But it is a little bit more likely to cause some flu-like symptoms, like a low-grade fever, muscle aches, cough, and congestion. The autism flu factor is still a work in progress, but it fits a growing theory about a mother's immune system impacting the unborn child's brain. One thing is certain. The issue is going nowhere fast. I'd heard somebody quote a number recently that there was about a thousand kids in the Lee County school system with uh, autism, which is a lot of children. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.